ladies and gents, it's Amanda here from scrimpymummy.co.uk and today I'm going to make a little gift set um, I'm going to be coming up with quite a few ideas we're coming up to craft fair season and Christmas and things like that so I think uh, little handmade items um, that you can use for gifts quick things, I'm going to be doing quite a few of them I'm going to be using Colourful Seasons which is my favourite set at the moment I love it um, it's absolutely stunning and I've used the stitched shape framelits which, which has the stitched edge appearance when you cut them and I'm using the ovals today absolutely love them uh, and what I'm going to be using here is more the sentiments uh, may all your tomorrows be as happy as today is what I'm going to use so let's just put that to one side one moment so First of all, I'm going to cover a notebook and this is just one I've picked up randomly. You get like a pack of five or something and these measure, they're about four and one eighth by five and three quarters and it's just plain white, okay? So I've cut a piece of, this I think is Whisper White, although against that white it looks creamer and I've cut this to um six and a quarter just over, over um six and three eighths more like by four and a quarter and, and I've just cut it so that it roughly you know layers over the top of this notebook with a really tiny increment so just change the sizes up up to suit yourself you just want a tiny lip there at the bottom don't have it right flush or else when you adhere it it won't uh, it will be short so just lift it up slightly make sure there's a bit of a lip around the edge as well and then you know because all notebooks are different you can't just do one measurement so get it where you want it and then crease there on the top get your bone folder in and give it a crease and crease over there as well okay and then you can just adhere that with some adhesive Got, uh, I've got that dirty now, get off. Uh, I'm going to just use some, what am I going to use? I'll use some skinny red line tape and just attach it to the back of the book, not to the front page. It's just easier for it to open and it just seems to sit nicer. And that's from experience. <laughs> I need some scissors that aren't gunked up. Um, where are my scissors? I'll just use these. I gunked my scissors up um, yesterday with some inferior foam tape. I really wouldn't advise cheap foam tape. I shan't be using it ever again. I'm going to have to get some WD-40 and get all the sticky off my scissors. So anyway, <laughs> I'm waffling. So I'm going to line that up again. Make sure it's where I want it. Just double check don't take your first measurement as given uh, and then fold it and stick it okay and then that's just covered that notebook very very simply and it will just open easily I'm just going to give it another bit of a crease there so that it shuts neater okay and then you can just line it with what you want. So let me see, what paper shall I line it with? Um, let me just get some paper. I think we'll have this one here, which is from the Year of Chia. It's absolutely stunning. Just get my trimmer. Uh, so this, let me just re-measure this, measures four and a quarter by six now so that means I want my paper at four by five and three quarters four by five and three quarters and that'll just give me a little a little uh, edge all the way around okay let's move that out of the way and just quickly glue that on super fast 
super easy we're not going to make any mistakes in this video today <laughs> don't forget all of the measurements are over on my blog at scrimpingmommy.co.uk there's always a link in the description box below and I will probably put a little circle up here with an eye which is information and you'll be able to click that and go straight to my blog okay so that's decorated that nicely now what I'm going to do to go with this is I'm going to make some little note cards it's a gift set notepad note cards okay so I've pre-cut four little note cards and I've cut these to go in the stamping up envelopes which I have four of them somewhere what have I done with them oh where have they gone oh they're underneath oh what a nana they're underneath so these are the little envelopes that you can pre-buy these are let me just check the measurements about three and a half by five I think just over five and one eighth by three and one two three four five eighths just about so they fit three and a half by five inch cards in them anyway okay they're beautiful lovely already done for you you can buy them in a pack so for quickness i'm using ready-made envelopes so my card bases measure uh you cut your card at 10 by three and a half and then you just fold it in half or score it at five to make your little note cards okay i'm just scoring those at uh, burnishing those and then i've just cut some more of the year of chia paper and i've cut um, two in that one which is like a star burst or a firework burst and two in the snowflake so you can have two of one and two of the other I'm just going to quickly adhere those on there this is a nice quick make as I say uh, you've got teacher gifts coming up Christmas you might want to gift something to your friends neighbours uh, I don't know you can give them to anybody and they're cheap and cheerful and they're quick to make so you can make you know quite a few um, at once with very little stress to get your all your pieces cut uh, and do yourself like a production line get everything cut out and all your matting and layering cut put them in a pile and then just glue them all you've got to do then is, is you know, glue them on. In fact, I think I might make some of these for my thank you cards for my uh, Stamping Up customers because this is really, really cute and really quick idea. Like so. And then I have pre-cut my ovals. Um, I use the two stitch edge ovals. Let's put those to one side. And I have cut six in the smaller one and I'm going to stamp on these and I've done one for each note card one for the notebook and then one for the packaging so you want six of those and then I've chosen this one um, because I've got loads of this paper so in the larger one I've cut six of these one two I should have six one two three but yeah six of those so with these I'm going to do one um, and then I'll just freeze frame while I do the rest <laughs> and I'll come back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat emboss so I'm going to get my dust buddy first of all and just go over that to make sure there's no grease and then I've got my verse mark uh, I've got a block and I'm going to use this one here. May all your tomorrows be summit, summit, summit. I don't know if that's going to fit actually. Let me just see. I might be changing my, uh, I might be changing my plans here because I don't know if that's going to fit. No, it's not. That mustn't. It must be this one. <laughs> Life is a beautiful thing. Yes, that's the one that fits. Okay, so I'm going to line that up on my block. Let's just move this set out of the way. 
I'm going to use my grid paper here to help me line it up fairly straight. Although with the the font and the, the words are slanted anyway, so if you don't get it perfectly straight, you know, it's quite forgiving. So, put plenty of embossing ink on there and then stamp it in the centre of my stitched frame ovals stitched frame? no stitched edge? I don't know, I've forgotten okay, it's about me to think past uh, five minutes ago it's gone so that's that I'm going to bring in my my little do for my little tree and I'm using copper embossing powder so that it coordinates with the paper okay so I'm going to sprinkle that on there nice and liberally I'm going to put the lid on because now my look I'll knock it over and that's not good is it we don't want to be doing that just check there's nothing on there that I don't want to be on there just that there don't want you get off don't want you either Okay, I'm always tempted to blow it. Don't blow it, else you'll blow all your embossing powder off. Let me just move that out of the way, and I'm just going to heat set that now. So if you want to turn your volume down, you can. Beautiful, stunning, lovely, I love it. Okay, so that's that. I'll just throw my heat gun on the floor like you do. Just throw it, <laughs> oh dear. Just give that a minute to dry. And then I'm going to stick it on my DSP oval that I've cut out like so. Okay. Just turn that over and give it a press because that embossing ink might still be a little bit wet. There we go. And then that can just go on the cards, on the note cards, just in the centre like that. It's just enough. I don't think you need any more than that um, for a little note card. Uh, and then whoever gets them has always got a little card to hand. Sometimes you can't short. You need to send a little thank you or whatever have you. Then you've got, are going to have a set of four there. Okay, so that's the note card. So you would replicate that on the other three. And then obviously we're going to do one for the notepad and I'm going to do one for the packaging so I'm just going to pause and come back while I do that because you've already seen me do it once so I don't need to show you again I'll be back in a minute I'm back I do apologize I don't know how to do all this like fading into from one clip to another business yet um, so all I do is stop my camera and start again that's as far as my editing goes so I've done all of the note cards there's two in each there they're all lovely, they're all nice and simple and they all match. So, the notebook, what I'm going to do here is I've just cut another piece of DSP that just fits across there. Okay, mine happens to measure um, four by two and a half. But obviously you would adjust the measurements to suit your notebook. So, I'm just going to attach that on with some glue and what that does is because I've used the same background here because I'm using up my paper I don't want to put that straight on there because it'll just disappear into nothing so by layering it with just another piece and this is actually a scrap piece of DSP by just layering that on there it just breaks it up and then when I layer that on there um, it stands out again so I'm going to put that on dimensionals, um, which are here. Four, two, 
three, four. This is a very, very quick little gift set. You could probably do, once you've cut all your pieces out, you could get a load of these done. So there you go, so there's your notebook. And there's your little note cards. So now we need something to put them in. <laughs> so here we are. We've got these gold striped bags that you can buy. Um, they're already done for you. You know, you don't have to make every last little thing yourself. Although you could make one out of DSP. But I want to show you these beautiful bags as well. I've got my trusty library clip, which I absolutely adore. And if I let you into a secret, I've only got one left. And I've reused it about four, for about four videos. I need to buy another box. I need to stop being tight and buy another box. Right, so I'm going to just... Um, right, so this is the front because you've got that bit that folds over. So let me just see, my notebook just goes nicely, I'm just going to have room to fold over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my little notebook in there. Okay. And then there should be room for my little note cards and envelopes. And what you could do, um, what I think I will, uh, you know, if you're giving it as a gift, get a little bit of ribbon or twine or something and just just tie them together with a little bow it just makes it that little bit nicer okay so tie it and then tie it this is the copper uh i can't think of the name of it what's it called hold on a minute i'll ask tell you it's the copper trim <laughs> <laughs> it's as complicated as that name gets right and now this should just slide in the back with the notepad you've just so you've got room there for a, a narrow notepad and four little um note cards and their envelopes okay and you've still got room there to fold it over okay we're going to decorate it without creasing it and making it look like one of dogs has jumped on it so i've got here um a piece of another piece of the DSP from the same line it measures six by two and I've measured it at two specifically because I know that is the width I need for my banner punch so I'm going to put it in and it'll give me a lovely banner shape and I may well cut it down yet we'll see let's have a look how long that is um, shall I cut it down no, I think I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to get one of the lovely foiled snowflakes. Uh, have I got a bronze one? I quite like a bronze one. I don't know if I've used them all. You get like a bronzy, oh there we go, like the bronzy colour and then the like pewter colour, like silvery colour. So I want one of those. Uh, I think I'm going to turn this into a little gift tag, I think. Yeah, so I want my hole punch. This is the one eighth of an inch, I think. If not, it's the smaller one, which would be one sixteenth. <laughs> it's the smart Stamping Up do this, these hole punches in two sizes. This is the smaller one. I actually have no idea what size it is. <gasps> I'm rubbish at it. Some more of this copper trim. I'm just going to, in fact, I think I'm going to feed it through from the back to the front. No, I want it from the front to the back. I always go from the front to the back and then this loopy bit here, then you've got this bit at the front and it just looks tidier. So I always go front to back. Okay. Trim that off, don't need all that. You can stretch this stuff out as well if you want, it looks quite cool but I'm not going to do that now. Then all I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my banner on, okay, and I'm going to put my little doofa, my little foiled snowflake, and then I've got my little gift tag. And hopefully I can hold it all into place with this library clip. Hopefully. It might be a bit too thick. Let me just have a see. It should it should fit. Yeah. Quite robust, these little fellas are. I love them. And then you've got the little 
Life is Beautiful gift tag, you've got your foiled snowflake and obviously they can reuse that and they can reuse that as well when they get it. So what a lovely gift set. Hope you'll give that a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.